Hi, what's your part in this thing? Well, well, I've helped Tony build to this it, particular motor from and John Bedini's plans. Charged another one. Um, with, but the reason I got involved that five is because times over, I saw straight away by the, fifth charge, um, the direct relationship was between this one and my peak, chosen art, which is clarity hour. therapy. Um, and Tony's already charging mentioned some things about, uh, and about that the battery Bedini, is but the fascinating well, thing is the quality and the, the behaviour of the batteries. Know, that battery is um, they directly it's relate to um, what I see in the human condition uh, I mean, this as was a therapist. Really positive. The positively charged batteries or run batteries is um, has true, exactly the, the opposite be honest, qualities wrong with our to what we find with a charge battery. You know, if you put heat and for instance, the positive charge anything, batteries, as you expect with normal batteries, they're unstable. So that's they're, the big change. They're uh, prone to discharge. No, we're they not heat up, so there is battery in terms of having to Whereas when defend the, itself against the other battery, the radiantly charged one, uses on negative one. energy yeah. from the ether, which is tantamount to prana. So and this battery is literally choosing its, its own nature charge. is completely yeah. the opposite. The impedance of this um, relative to the impedance They're stable, so they're prone to hold their charge. And, and which will their negative entropic, i.e. they're cold, charge. they don't, they don't diverge like normal electricity and dissipate. It collects and coordinates and, and organises. And that's what I see when I see clients. They come to me as if they're a positively charged battery. There's so many tests Disconnected from the environment um, and not, not, in a great, not in a great state. Whereas the more you charge these negative batteries, they more readily take that energy. And that's exactly what we see in polarity therapy, is that the yeah, client we come initially it, might be slow and sluggish in response, but you that's come a few times the and they just open up to their environment that's and they what become, we're asking like the negative charge batteries, yeah, more stable, more prone to hold their charge, their, um, their, their life force. Um, so there's a direct If you put a laser battery on there, say, you can whack that up and put a five or six on there. mechanical description of what's going on with the polarity therapy. And the fundamental principle behind this is the principle of polarity, where you have a negative energy and a positive energy. If you have opposite energies, so you imagine that. Then you also get a flow of other energy. I mean, the and that energy is, as a lot of old stuff. traditions know, but to it's, be honest, it's an I've energy had intelligence. All day yesterday. And Came in this whole system becomes like volts. an intelligent system. It's just it's like running, the human body. It was running for seven and hours yesterday. With the human body, we're just a, a polar, a, a, a bike. Twelve point five one. We're, a, we're a positive, so that negative poles, which keep the, the bipolar uh, so uh, circuit three open. Days off that and as long as it's just open, the energy flows. So that's how little it's taxing. So what we're interested in is is. This one, the, the, the poles I equal think it was about and opposite and getting them into balance. This morning. And the Bedini charger motor is it's an exact, exact representation of that principle. 12 volts? It's up to 12. And it's a principle that if you look at it in, in the ancient traditions really, of yin and yang, it's, it's epitomised by that. Well, this is a very modern take on it. And uh, it it's a very good description of that process. It's not just the world we see around us, but it's also manifest in the human condition. So that's why you, I first got interested in this, on the front, but the more I see it, faster. the more it directly relates but to part of, to part the of what this shows us as well is the patients are because that's the transformation you see when people go into the days days charge with body work. Absolutely. They start to open up and um, be more part more part open the system the than they were before. So a closed system to an open system. And that's why I'm interested in it. And that's what's driving the motivation and the enjoyment to get involved in it. So it must have been the principle of polarity in the human condition is that with body work, well, we have a positive energy on the right side of the body and a negative energy on the left hand side of the body. With the hands on the body, and with a neutral space in between, so that the well. practitioner becoming neutral and still sets up the conditions yeah, for the oppos opposite energy mechanics a in and the energy is bound to flow and that's what we see. We see after a while you know the, the energy starts to shift and you see it flowing it runs, along the body surface. LED Just LED like LED in the charge battery here, here you see the energy flows down the outside of the wire. And and that's exactly what we see battery in three volt LED. And that's exactly what Dr. One Stone, who created the system, realised about the human condition. It's not just a human condition, it's a universal condition. Of opposite energies. Volt, 12 to 20 volt and this is also, for interest, um, fundamental to so, what Ron Pearson is calling the Big Breed Theory. And if you want to know more about the Big Breed Theory, I would recommend you, you look it up online because it's a unifying theory that bridges the gap between spirituality 
and physics. And every time I charge you, um, and the more support he gets in, in pushing this uh, this theory, then the better it will be for everybody. That's the big breed theory. The big breed theory. B R E E D. Yeah, it replaces the theory of the Big Bang and, and builds on it. <clears throat> it um, resolves the the issues between relativity and quantum mechanics. And then I left it. It, it resolves the cosmological constant, which physicists just can't do. And so, Tom Pearson's Big Breed Theory is, is a unifying theory and, um, and then I that links the, the whole material was, world that we see with the spiritual and world, if you like, of consciousness. Six weeks. And the world's been waiting for it, well, it's been out there for about nine or ten years, and it's just not gained so, any ground yet. So, so it's certainly something to, work, to look at. Thank you. And uh, for information on polarity therapy, then you can look no further than uh, the www.polarity.tk, which is the United Kingdom Polarity Therapy Association site. There and there's lots of links on there to, to many other things. And one yeah. of the interesting things, so is if you're not looking for a therapist, with the have a look on the site for the Polarity Revealed section, where we're trying to capture um, everywhere we see around us that has this polarity principle I before I um, represented, I it where it, it, it's, it's shown to us in the world around us, or in theories um, I took it uh, that I are used in everyday life, and predominantly more and more now, people are beginning to see this duality in the world, and if you can see it, you can then resolve it, bring it back to unity, so www.polarity.tk, and uh, just uh, go down the rabbit hole and see how far you can go. Excellent, thanks.